Hi everyone, welcome to week 23 of Nutrition Bites. All right, so today I'm going to share a fun recipe for loaded avocado toast. So we'll talk about the ingredients, then we'll talk a little bit about avocados and the benefits that they have. Um, we'll talk all about dietary fats and then the difference between saturated versus unsaturated. And then I'll share some more fun toast recipes and then the weekly challenge. Okay, so this is a recipe for loaded avocado toast. So it's not quite like your traditional avocado toast that just literally has avocado on it, but it has some extra good things on it. So some hummus, avocados, obviously, tomato, cucumber, arugula, uh, lemon juice, salt and pepper, sesame seeds. You could do chia seeds, flax seed. Um, feel free to mix it up and make it um, in a way that you would enjoy it. All right, so here are a few of the benefits of consuming avocados. They have a high unsaturated to saturated fat ratio, and we'll talk about the difference between those in a minute. So avocados contain five grams of monounsaturated fat and one gram of polyunsaturated fat. Um, avocados also contain soluble and prebiotic fiber, so this can help to support heart health and um, help with blood sugar management as well as the microbiome. And avocados are also pretty low in energy density, meaning calories compared to other food sources of fat. Um, and then they also have high carotenoid bioavailability, bio which is a power phytochemical. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about dietary fats. So there's kind of three broad categories of fats. We have saturated fats, trans fats, and unsaturated fats. And then our unsaturated fats are broken down further into mono and polyunsaturated fats. And the polyunsaturated fats are what are the omega-3s and the omega-6s are. Now, when it comes to um, our diet, we overall want to limit or completely avoid saturated fat and trans fat in our diet. Those are the ones that are harmful to our health. Um, so overall, 20 to 35% of our daily calories should come from fat and preferably all from poly uh, unsaturated and monounsaturated fats. So again, tr really trying to limit the saturated fat as best as possible and avoiding trans fat altogether. Okay, so here is a graphic just to kind of help you understand the difference between saturated fat and unsaturated fat. So remember, saturated fat is the one we want to limit, and unsaturated fat is where we want to focus getting our dietary fat from. So saturated fat is found in animal products, so meat, dairy, eggs, and then a couple plant sources, coconut oil and palm oil. Now, one of the key differences between saturated and unsaturated fat is that saturated fat is solid at room temperature. So think of your stick of butter or your jar of coconut oil. Those are solid at room temperature. Um, whereas our unsaturated fat, our oils, are liquid at room temp temperature. So think olive oil, canola oil, things like that. Um, so saturated fat, when it comes to our health, is going to raise our LDL cholesterol as well as our triglyceride levels uh, and saturated fat also plays a key role in type 2 diabetes so it increases insulin resistance unsaturated fat on the other hand is going to help lower our ldl cholesterol and raise our hdl cholesterol that's our good cholesterol and it can help to decrease our insulin resistance Okay, so in the article version of this video, I will be linking a website for some fun toast recipes, both savory and sweet. Um, so give it a try and see what you think. All right, so this week I want to challenge you to try mixing up your toast routine. So if you're normally doing peanut butter and jelly, I wanna encourage you to switch it up and try a new breakfast toast recipe this week. Maybe it's a loaded avocado toast, maybe it's one of those other recipes from the website that I'll link, um, but give something new a try this week. That's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all next week.